I'm Secretary of Education Arne Duncan. It was an important part of how we plan to meet President Obama's goal that by 2020, the United States will once again have the best educated, most competitive workforce in the world. Fortunately, we have an unprecedented opportunity today to use technology in smart new ways to help make that goal a reality. Under the Learning Powered by Technology Plan, we want to dramatically expand the role that open educational resources play in improving the quality of both teaching and learning. Open educational resources, or what we call OER for short, can not only accelerate and enrich learning, they can also substantially reduce costs for schools, families, and students. What are OER resources? They are materials that have been released with an intellectual property license that allows their free use, continuous improvement, modification, and repurposing by others. Some of the best of these resources come directly from institutions you know and respect, like MIT, Tufts, Yale, and the University of California. Others come from some of our nation's best community colleges or from innovative entrepreneurs like Saul Khan, whose online Khan Academy now features more than 2,700 videos used freely by tens of millions of students from around the world. What does this mean for America? It means that in the future, what a student gets a chance to learn will no longer depend necessarily on their zip code or where he or she goes to school in college. Instead, OER can help us bring the best K-12 teachers and college professors and the most cutting-edge courses and teaching methods within the reach of every single motivated student. And that's where you come in. Despite the promise of this new approach, not enough people know about open educational resources and their tremendous transformational promise. Our administration is investing up to $2 billion through the Department of Labor to create state-of-the-art courses and programs to help both students and dislocated workers qualify for good jobs in growing industries that pay family-sustaining wages. And all of these educational resources created with public funds will be openly licensed. They'll be open educational resources. Yet, too many teachers, students, college professors, political leaders, and members of the public still don't know about the value of OER. We have to change that basic understanding. We want as many as Americans as possible to benefit from the universal access to high-quality educational opportunities that technology-powered OER has placed within our grasp. And we need your help to spread that message.